What's up, beautiful? How you doing today? You look stunning. Oh, YouTubers have blessed me with another hair video. It's been a really good month. I'm excited. There's honestly not a lot of things in life that make me more excited than when YouTubers like do their own hair. It's painful, yes, to watch, but also very entertaining. So I'm here for it. I love a little entertainment in my life and I'm ready to watch Antonio Garza today. Do something to her hair and probably ruin it. I've been getting harassed for the last few days on social media by Antonio Garza stands. I've gotten tweets, emails, DMs, everything you can imagine being like, you have to react to her video. And you guys, do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm not gonna do that? Do you think I'm actually gonna sit here and not do that for you? Of course I am. All right, let's watch Antonio Garza bleach the shit out of her hair. Let's do it. So, I'm here on Antonio Garza's channel. It says, I bleached my hair myself and this is what happens. And I just want to take a scroll through the comment section with you guys. Bramondo having a heart attacks after all the bleaching on YouTube. Antonio, Bramondo. <laughs> no one. DJ Khaled and Bramondo. Another one. <laughs> So clever. Antonia, I bleached my hair by myself and this is what happened. Brad Mondo dies. No one. Brad Mondo. Antonia with blonde hair. Hello. <laughs> I'm slightly disappointed in the fact that she, she did this herself today, but you know what? It makes for great content. So let's see what exactly happened when Antonio bleached her hair herself. And hopefully it's a decent outcome. I've been uh, waiting to watch this with you guys. So let's freaking press the play button, man. Hello. Today Hello. I just had a thought. And you know what? I had a thought that came from my soul and my being and I'm feeling like this is a very important thought. I need to document this now. You <laughs> might not see this. The internet might never see this video, but if you're seeing this video, that means I have made a detrimental, risky, and almost life-changing decision. I need to have at least once in my life is bleaching my own hair. I feel like she does need to experience this herself. That way this can never happen again. Just get out of your damn system, Antonio. Don't do it again. I think this might be a good idea just to get it out of her body. I saw Joanna Cydia. She just bleached her hair and I was like, okay, if she could do it, I could do it. Like if she's courageous enough to bleach her own hair and I've been thinking of bleaching my own hair for a while now, might as well freaking send it. Joanna's hair didn't come out good, Antonio. It didn't. Also, Antonio, you have so much hair seemingly from what I can see here. You have pounds and pounds and pounds of hair. You are gonna miss so many damn spots, girl. It is gonna be a situation. Ooh! Oh, we got quick blue. We got quick blue. We got mixed match developers. Great idea. Oh, and we got T18. You can't do any bleaching at home without T18. So Quick Blue is gonna be one of the strongest, most pungent bleaches you could possibly use. It's severe, it's a lot. It's gonna really get into that hair. It's gonna really lighten, it's gonna really lighten fast. It's gonna get in that hair, it's gonna go and snap and it's not gonna be good. This isn't the worst combination of products I've ever seen. So we're working with what we got. We're seeing what's gonna happen. It might be fine. It might be bad. I don't know, but that's okay. Cause I'm here and you know what? It's fine. Yo, Antonio has so much hair. It's actually scary for me. What kind of extensions are, are these like tape-ins? Yo, how do you operate life with those nails? How do you do things? I just don't understand. It just seems like it'd be really annoying. Today, if you didn't see by the thumbnail or title, I'm going to be bleaching my hair. I'm excited. This video is sponsored by no one, so. By Brad Mondo. I miss having dark hair, so I really wanted to go back to black hair or like brown hair, I think, just like normal brown hair. But I was thinking, why don't I like blonde hair? What is so deep in me that is making me not love the blonde hair? Because blondes have more fun and I was not having more fun. <gasps> Antonio, you look so good as a blonde. Honestly, you look really good as a brunette too, but I feel like the blonde kind of just makes it look a little more like, woo, like, uh, like, eh. I don't know. I feel like the blonde looks really iconic on you though. It really does. So this is my Sally's beauty haul. I don't think her hair is gonna fall off. I do, however, think she's gonna miss a million spots. So there's the powder. There's a mixy bowl. I have two toners for later, but that's like, if things go wrong. A developer for the toner. Okay, no one, I don't even know what I'm talking about though. Like I'm not using them right now. And then I have a developer for my bleach. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like she's actually highly prepared for this. This might actually not be the worst thing ever. So. I have a, a ball cap, not a ball cap. 
I wish. I have a hair cap thingy, and I have gloves, but I realize I'm not going to use... Well, I guess I should try to use gloves, but I don't know how, because I have 12-inch long acrylic nails. Yeah. We'll see how that goes, but... Oh, I kind of always wonder why hairstyles... Actually, I've never wondered that. But hairstyles never wear nails, because they just get ruined. You literally cannot wear acrylics to this long. Actually, wait. Whoa, my mind is so powerful. There's a lot of people that wear acrylics to the salon to do hair, like a lot of hairstylists. And I actually don't ever, I've never actually thought about how they wear acrylics with gloves. Antonio, this is groundbreaking stuff. How does that work? I am beyond scared right now. Mm. And like, I wish I wasn't, but it's no, like, you probably well, should be. I am, so. That looks, <laughs> Extremely uncomfortable. I think that if worse comes to worse, I'm just gonna not do the back. I'm already like, I hate this already. Okay. Are you supposed to get it on your scalp? I don't really know, but like it's there, so it's like, oh my god, it burns already. Ow. Initial thoughts, um, I don't think I'm doing it right, but like it's not like, it doesn't look that wrong, so it's like, you know, can't be that wrong, am I right? Wrong! And I know what you're thinking. Brad, she's starting at the roots. Never start at the roots, Brad. Oh my God, you say that all the time. Today would be a day that you could start at the roots because her ends are already lightened. She's just trying to lighten the roots. Except however here, she's doing a retouch and she doesn't exactly have retouchable hair. She should have got highlights, a heavy, heavy, heavy highlight or a heavy, heavy, heavy hair painting. The only time we ever do the roots like this is when we're doing a bleach and tone, which is when somebody has hair like me. It's already bright, bright blonde and it's fully one color and you get that really harsh line of demarcation when your hair grows out. Then you're gonna start at the roots and you're gonna paint them like that. Antonio, your hair is highlighted. It is not fully one color. Even though it kind of looks like that, you can tell that it, there's, there's been foils in there, there's been lowlights, there's been highlights, there's a lot going on. And so if you make the, the roots all one shade, you're gonna literally have a root that's all really weirdly bright blonde and then the ends are kind of like not as blonde and kind of like variations of blonde because they're highlighted and then your roots aren't highlighted because your roots are just single process lightened. It's just not gonna look right. And I don't know how this is gonna come together. Brad Mondo, if you're watching this, I do apologize. You just sent me some like of your hair stuff. So it's like, I'll just use that and my hair will look great at that, so. I'm just gonna- Glitterati, link below. <laughs> I think it's actually fine if you ruin your hair because Glitterati will just save your life. I think I'm out of a job now because Glitterati is just gonna save everybody and I don't need to anymore. Like, is that too much? Like, I think it is. And like, my hair's literally gonna fall off immediately. What are you doing? <laughs> my favorite part is that she's like painting the hair very gently. Like, it seems like she's really gives a f about this and she's actually genuinely trying to make it look good. Going right on the root and then painting gently on the ends to kind of like smudge it down. Root color doesn't really work like that. The only time you should use like a painting technique is if you're doing it like from the ends up, not from the root down. Cause then you're just gonna have like a bright root and a little bit of brown in the middle and then bright blonde ends. This ain't the right technique. No, 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 no. I don't think people realize how much work it is to color your own hair. It's honestly really annoying. I'm scared. Okay, my hair's not that weak though. Like, I don't think it'll fall off. No, your hair looks like I don't feel any hell effects. Effects. Like, that's cool. And it's not gonna break up. Break off. I'm gonna give it to her though. This is really precise. She is going in in every little section and it is quite beautiful. She honestly looks like she has a really natural talent for coloring hair. Her partings are divine. She is doing a great thorough job. However, this is not really the right technique for what she's, for what she's looking for. If she did want to go all over blonder from roots to ends, in a salon we'd probably go in with foil and foil out every darker piece in her hair. And then once everything is one solid color from about like an inch from the root down. Then we go back in on the root and paint that all so it's even. And then you'll get a very, very even platinum blonde color. But again, that's a very difficult thing to do on yourself. Actually, it's probably impossible. You're gonna need to like go and seek some help for that. This is like where we're at right now. I'm gonna do the back and I'll be right back. Pray for me. Actually, like. Why did you not do the edges of your hair? You're just leaving the edges out? I don't get it. This is my curl. 
current look of the day. I am letting it develop, I guess. I yes, am you are. Concerned marinate. For many You're reasons. actually letting it marinate, as Joanna would say. This might be the worst decision I've ever made. Like when I was looking at it before I put it in this like cow thing, I was like, okay, this is horrible. I'm definitely concerned. There's always black hair dye. Black hair dye is always going to be on the market, and it's always going to be calling my name. So it's like, if worse comes to worse, I can just fix it all. Dyeing your hair from blonde to black actually is not that easy. I know. Everybody thinks it is. Everybody thinks like, ooh, I can just put black color on my head and I'll just be black. Yeah, that might be possible. Sometimes it's not. But oftentimes when people do this at home and they go to the store and they buy black box dye to go over their blonde hair, that's actually not the right thing to do. Because once you have blonde, blonde hair, you have no pigment left in your hair. You have to replace the red, the blue, and the yellow in your hair in order to get a color that looks like it has a lot of depth and looks natural and looks vibrant. Say if you throw on like a brown, ashy box dye in your hair. First of all, you're gonna get a lot of ammonia in that. You don't need it. Your hair's already lightened. You All you do is tone it back to dark. So typically you're gonna wanna use a Demi Permanent developer for that. And then after that, you throw on like an ash tone brown. You're probably gonna get a lot of green in your hair because you need to fill in the red and the yellow also in order to get a very beautifully done brown color to replace the blonde you previously had. That probably made no sense to half of you and that's okay. It ain't falling off yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it actually doesn't look bad. Okay, so actually kind of like semi-confused here because it actually doesn't seem like this is gonna be bad. I think she put such a light coating of bleach on her hair that it's not gonna end up lightening that much. Therefore, it's not gonna end up making like a humongous difference. Therefore, it probably won't be that bad. I don't know how long she left it on for, but seemingly she kind of just like painted the root very lightly with some bleach. I think it's just gonna look actually kind of decent. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Your hair looks mad stripey, man. I don't have a lot to say here. I knew this was gonna happen and I knew it wouldn't be a good idea. And it pretty much came out as bad as I thought it was gonna come out. I'm sorry. after yeah. my shower <laughs> this is really 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 bad but like it could have gone worse i think <laughs> i f knew it i mean of course i knew it i'm like impressed with myself as if like it wasn't like the easiest thing to tell her that was gonna happen this is what i was explaining to you guys she's gonna get a light band a dark band and a light band because she painted her roots and then feathered it through the rest of her hair. And also she has really dark hair naturally. Lift it to orange because you're not using foils. If you want to lift just that nice pure blonde, you're gonna want to use foils, man. Foils are made for incubating, giving the hair heat when it's not on the scalp and for keeping your sections clean. Um, so we essentially have some orange, yeah. yellow, some brownish mixed yeah. with blonde, yeah. mixed with red and then we just have blonde at the end. So it's like... This is going to be so hard to fix. Really, really hard because now she has all these different variations of like dark and light and it's all just like mixed in there randomly. I would literally need to go in and pick out every little piece that she missed with foils. And that is a painstakingly annoying process. I've done it many times and I honestly, every time I've done it, I never wanna do it again, but then I keep doing it because then when you're done, you're like, oh, that was totally worth it. That looks amazing. I did this to myself, and yeah. so I'm like not mad at it. And honestly, my hair didn't fall off. So it's like, I'm, I'm like, like God, you know, he came through a little bit. <laughs> what in the fudge? You and Joanna are missing the sideburns. What is that? The last thing I want to do is like bleach my hair once again. She's gonna bleach it again, isn't she? Ew, I look like a mole rat. For now, I'm just gonna let it dry and see what happens. And maybe tonight I will just bleach it again because I'm impulsive and don't care about my well-being. See you then. I'm not okay. This may have came up worse than Joanna's hair did, and I mean that. Let's be honest here. I can't fix this. No. Like, I can't. So my hair's dried a little bit now, and honestly, like, I don't hate it. Like, it's like, it's not good. Let's get that out there, that like, this isn't good. 
And we just have to accept it. Like, it's not good, but like, yeah! Don't tell me she's gonna leave it like this. Don't do it. Also, another way of fixing this would be to do a full, 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 full highlight. And then in between all those full highlights, paint the rest of the pieces that you didn't lighten with a darker brown color. And you'll get nice variation, you'll get nice depth, and you'll get a full on nice blonde color. And that'll give the hairdresser an opportunity to fix all those little spots in between. Because you'll be in foils and you can kind of go in and paint every little dark spot that you missed and then lighten the rest of the hair. There's many ways to fix botched bleach jobs and um, I'd have to think about this one. I'd have to think about this one more. Um, I was gonna try to fix it myself as much as I would love to do it for the content. You know what I'm saying? Do yeah. it for the vlog. Um, no, I did <laughs> book appointment tomorrow. Thank God the person does my hair. Had an appointment open because if she didn't, I would be stuck with this throughout my vacation this weekend. <laughs> That looks so bad. Whoever your hairdresser is, I am so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. I didn't think that it was gonna be this bad. I'm thinking of like what my reaction would be if I were her hairstylist and then she came back to me a couple months later with this. I would just be like, you're a bitch. Honestly, the warm honey blonde looks so good on Antonio. I mean, she looks great. Her hairstyle is talented. They're talented from what I can see. I don't know. I can't really see much, but talented. It looks really dope. You know, I noticed a pattern here. Joanna bleached her hair before she had to go somewhere um, on a trip. And then Antonio bleached her hair before she had to go somewhere on a trip. Antonio, you're supposed to mess up your hair and then take a trip to New York to get it fixed. It's how these things are supposed to go. Thanks Antonio for the content. That was amazing. That was actually really good. And honestly, it came out great. Your poor hair stylist though. Ooh, girl, ooh. She had to go in there. She had to go out of there and she had to go all around there to probably fix that. It ended up looking great. You look fabulous. That's all for today, guys. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram at BradMonoMYSD. My hair care brand, X Mono Hair on Instagram. Check out Brad and Eric, my new channel with my brother, link below. If you guys would like to purchase any of my merch or Glitterati. It'll be linked below for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace!